talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep in love. What is up, fucks? I'm sorry about my setup, but, um, yeah, my office is kind of a mess. I'm still trying to put it all together. Paintings and stuff. Yeah. So, we, we are going to just have to deal with this setup. Anyways, today... This video is going to be the second installment of Ask FM, because I like to help. So I like to answer people's burning questions. It's kind of like, let's answer some questions in the most awkward ways possible. Yeah. Okay, the first one. Do you believe in supernatural power? Um, supernatural powers. Yeah, I think, um, yeah. Because my dog sleeps near my husband and my son's feet. And if he doesn't die, I, I think that means he's a demon dog. He's used to the smell. So yeah, I do believe in supernatural powers. Who do you like? Seriously? Seriously. Who do you like? Everybody. Except for Cracker Barrel. Brad's wife, man? Seriously? Y'all's is monsters. Fire Brad's wife. After 11 years, man. You bastards. <laughs> Next question. You probably really love to travel. Oh yeah, I really love to travel. I do so much of it. But in all seriousness, I would love to travel. I just have to do it first to figure that out. I've never been any, well, can't say that. Most of the places I've been to are on the East Coast. I've been to Cali once. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Been to Chicago. Uh, and all the way down to Florida. Been to New Orleans. And every state going up the East Coast. That's about it. Let's see. What side dishes... Do you, what dish side dishes would you like to eat with barbecue? Oh my God. This is the most important question in the world. B baked beans and macaroni and cheese. There you go. What does true friendship mean to you? Holy shit. Well, that... Uh, wow. A true friend to me would hold my beer so I don't spill it right when I'm about to do something fucking retarded. And they'll end up in jail with me when I beat somebody's ass. They'll beat somebody's ass with me. And we'll end up in a sale together. In jail. That's what a true friend would do. They'll also help you hide the body when you do something really stupid. You know what I'm talking about. Moving on. What makes someone a good person? Well, I would say ask Amber Lynn, but then you'd just be crying all the time. That would suck. What makes 
someone a good person is humility. Uh, selflessness. Kind nature. That's about it. Oh, and a bitchin' sweet car. <laughs> yeah. A caring person would have a bitchin' sweet car. Yeah. You ever faced a demon? Oh my god, yes. My best friend's ex-wife. Oh my god, don't get me started on that one. Mm -mm. How much do you lurk your crush's social media before talking to them? Oh my god, not at all. I'm married, so... Uh-uh. That's... I mean, I stalk his Facebook. Does that count? Probably not. That's... Probably not. What would you... What would be your immediate action after you experience a paranormal activity at your place? Oh my god, like... Right after it? I would be checking into a nearest fucking motel and I don't know, finding another fucking place to live yeah, that's it I would literally walk out the door I would grab my wallet and walk out the door I would go find another place to live immediately whether it be a hotel or just buying a brand new house. And I would buy clothes wherever I ended up. Just brand new clothes. I would officially not have any furniture. The house can have it. The house can have the clothes too. The ghosts can try them on and just parade around in them for all I give a shit. Yeah. I don't fucks with no ghosts. I ain't a ghostbuster. Fuck that shit. All right, moving on. What's next? What's my favorite multiplayer game? Sex. Oh yeah. It's the best game ever. Hell yeah. And that's my final answer. What qualities do you look for in a person? In a friend, uh, you already know. Mm. In a boyfriend, um, let me see. A bitchin' sweet car, an appreciation of skateboards. Uh, he was nice to me. Uh, and he was my friend, like, ever. And he would drink with me. And he liked the same kind of cigarettes I did. So that was a plus. Let's see. If you could have any view from your home, what would it be? Pensacola, Florida's beach. It's gorgeous. White, sugar white sand. And just the most beautiful blue waters. The Gulf of Mexico. That's the view I want outside of my window. <sighs> Next one. Who do you look up to? My dog, JD, for many reasons, actually. He's got the fucking greatest life. He sleeps for three-fourths of the day. He has just people bow to his every whim. 
he wants to go outside, he bangs on some bells, and he makes the biggest creatures in the house move to his whim. Uh, he gets food that he doesn't have to work to pay for twice a day. He does whatever he wants. He literally rolls around in the in the grass, pees on everything. And he never has to clean up after himself. I mean, let's be real. I envy him. And one day, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like him. I'm telling you. What's the last sport event? Last sport event you ever wa you watched? Uh, is frisbee an event, a sport event? Because I watched someone play frisbee. That, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what would you do today if you... If you had no tomorrow? Oh my god. If I was going to die tomorrow, what would I do today? Okay, first off, I would start my day with a giant box of macaroni and cheese. That would be my breakfast. With a giant fucking soda. And not a diet one. Followed by some chocolate cake. And then I would fucking go four-wheeling. In mud. As much mud as I could find. If there wasn't mud around, I would make some mud. I'd just drive through it and just get shit everywhere. Uh, then I think I would either rent and or steal a boat and and just ride around in the Chesapeake Bay. Just 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 ride around. Uh after that I think I would I don't know, it's, it's just a lot. And go on a motorcycle ride with my husband, just all over the fucking place to finish off the day with my favorite restaurant in Annapolis, Maryland and stroll around the docks in Annapolis screwing with all the Navy sailors that are walking around I uh, get some ice cream at the end and then a shitload of alcohol I think I'd be drunk most of the day yeah, I'd probably I'd probably wake up and drink just like the entire day. I'd probably be just drunk by before noon even hits. But yeah, that, that would be my day, just like a bunch of shit. Yeah. And then bang rang my husband's Rufio by the end. Yeah. That sounds like a good day to me. That's the kind of day that would turn a frown upside down. If you can print any phrase on a t-shirt, what would it say? Hmm. Poker in the back, liquor in the front. What's your favorite social media? Instagram if they'd stop sending me dick pics all the time. God, y'all need to learn to leave your pants up. Three feet up is a fucking head on top of your body. Take a picture of that. Not your lower, not the, the lower head, you know, the, the, the lower one. Go three feet up and take a picture of this one, that head. Y'all's just dumb. What is the healthiest thing to get from McDonald's? Air? You know, you're, you're breathing. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. If you had lots of money, what would you do with it? Well, Uh, I would definitely get a hooker and a hotel room. 
a female one, not a male one. And I would make her as uncomfortable as possible. I would get her and I would ask her to take a bubble bath. Start off that way. Then I would give her feetsy pajamas. Make like the really kitty ones. The like the creepy kitty ones. Then I would probably give her a grilled cheese sandwich cut into a dinosaur shape and a bowl of like tomato soup like she was a child and then I would get her and tell her to get in the bed and read her a bedtime story like she's a kid yep and then I would give her a lunch like she's a kid before she leaves pretend like I'm sending her to school and I'd pay her every fucking dime she's owed and not a damn thing sexual is going to happen. I'm just going to pretend she's my child. That is going to be the most weirdest whatever amount of money she's ever made. It's probably going to be worse than any sexual act she's ever done. She's just going to be weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to do. <sighs> Craziest childhood memory. No comment. Do you know any big gossip? <sighs> no, I don't. I don't pay attention to gossip. Yeah, I don't, I don't tend to pay attention to gossip. You have to have an attention span for gossip. I just don't have one. Mm. Family should come, someone just wrote me something about, sorry. I think that's it. Well. That was fun. Don't you think so? Well now, I think we've answered some questions pretty good, don't you guys think? I think we've helped a lot of people today. If you have any questions for me, any, I don't know, nagging questions, life questions, relationship questions, post them below. I'm here to help you. I'm really good at it too. I'm like a really super good helper. Really. I am. Yeah. Well, I am out of here. Doing all these good deeds is just really taking it out of me. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, but if you don't, it's completely fine. I will still be here, sitting in front of this camera, talking to myself, as usual. You guys stay safe. Don't forget to recycle. Don't you dare get the Coronas. And I will see you guys later. Deuces.